In this video, I'll introduce SPL Core for the first time and perform the initial setup necessary to continue working with the software. I can find the latest version of the software on the website. I need to know my login details to log in. Depending on the type of license purchased, I enter either the key for the green edition or the email and password for the blue edition. I download the software and run the file. The way software opens may vary depending on which browser you use. I confirm or change the installation language. Then I wait for the login window to appear. I'll put my login details here. I have an activation key. So I enter my key and enter the company name. If you don't have your login credentials yet, request a trial version, which is free for 30 days. When I run the software for the first time and I have the green edition, it first asks me for the database. In the blue edition, no database selection is needed. I don't have a database yet, so I have to create one. I click on the New Database File button. Then, I select the folder where all my data will be stored and name my database. Now I have everything set up and I can go through SBL Core for the first time. The page you are currently viewing is an active tab. The Safety Datasheets tab lists the safety datasheets in your database. It is currently empty. I will import sample safety datasheets here for demonstration purposes. If you have the trial version open, the database with the sample safety datasheets was created automatically when you started, so you don't need to import anything. In the Substances tab, I can find a database of chemicals. I will need this to create mixtures for the safety datasheets. I can choose from over 8000 substances. All substances with a harmonized classification and substances with an exposure limit for the working environment are included. It may still happen that I don't find the substance I need in a database. For this purpose, the software includes a function to search and download substances from ECA. If you have the trial version open, the substance database is limited to a selection of approximately 800 substances. The Contacts tab stores all your contacts for your manufacturers, importers, distributors and other companies whose details are required to be included in the safety datasheets. The Phrases tab stores words and phrases that the program automatically fills into the appropriate form fields based on the input conditions. They are also the basis for our translation system. You will only need this tab if you want to teach the program to fill in or translate phrases it, it does not already know. The Control Parameters tab contains the aforementioned occupational exposure limits that are set for certain substances. These limits are matched automatically in the safety datasheets. If you are unsure or need to find specific information, you can refer to the user manual, which you can find in the help section under the safety datasheets tab. This was a quick first look into the application. In subsequent videos, I'll go into detail about each individual SBL Core feature. 